Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cynthia the Audio Bell back for another video. I just made a video about the Texas Audio Roundup, not giving you guys too much as far as information and, and whatnot, leaving a lot of surprises that will be coming out in the next few weeks as far as what I covered and different things. I did interviews and I did footage of the event and the atmosphere and it was it was a lot of fun. But you can hear about that in the other video. I also talked about how I'm going to be creating a Patreon account for you guys should you wish to support me monetarily and how if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. It helps me. If you want to enable notifications as well so that when I put out a video you get a notification, then please do so. But this video is going to be just me catching up with you. So. I haven't been doing videos for about a year. I've taken a year-long hiatus, and you're probably wondering why, but I just wanted to start out telling you I didn't want to do another quick update video. I didn't want to do another catch-up video explaining that I'm not doing videos for a while because I didn't want to promise you guys I'd start up at a certain time not knowing when I would be able to consistently produce content again. So the reason I haven't been on YouTube lately is I just got married in September and his name is Jeremy. I actually did a video of him previously. He is another audiophile and my video of him was an interview with a young audiophile, Jeremy. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it and you'll like it. It was, uh, it was a pretty good video. but. We got married in September and just a lot of stuff going on in our lives. We had to combine households because we both have houses and we moved into my house. So we had a lot of stuff we had to get rid of and we're still getting rid of. Our guest bedroom right now is full of stuff that we're still sorting through. Our garage and storage unit, we're kind of swapping stuff between. So it, it's been an interesting time trying to combine two households, but we've been super busy with that. And then we both got a promotion at work. We're both server engineers and we both do the same thing at our job. We were just promoted to level three server engineers. So uh, it's it's been interesting ramping up in that as well. And it's taken taken a lot of time. So just a lot of stuff. And as far as details go, we got married in Eureka Springs at Thorn Crown Chapel. It is a glass chapel all around in the middle of the Ozarks. So Jeremy and I both like camping, fishing, bikepacking, bicycling, hiking. We're, we're outdoors people. Being in a glass chapel in the middle of the woods, just it felt like home and it, it was a really gorgeous chapel actually based upon a French chapel. So if you haven't heard of it, look it up. I think you'll really like some of the pictures that you see of it. He planned out part of the wedding and honeymoon and I planned out another part of the wedding and honeymoon. And part of the honeymoon that I planned out was, since we're both audiophiles, I picked out a cabin for us to go to after the ceremony that would have surround sound speakers that I could connect Bluetooth to. But being the audiophile that I am, I was afraid that the speakers would not sound great. So just in case, I planned ahead and I brought my Klipsch Bluetooth speaker. And luckily, I, I didn't really have to use it. I compared the two and actually the surround sound speakers sounded pretty darn good. And really took up a lot of a lot of the cabin room as far as the sound. The reason I did this is because there's quite a few songs that Jeremy and I listened to and fell in love to together. Basically, we fell in love with each other over these songs. But I created a playlist and started adding songs that I remembered that we fell in love with each other to and continued adding them until I had all of the ones I could at least remember so that when he carried me over the threshold, I had it set up to where the Bluetooth songs would start playing and he would start hearing our songs and it was it was just beautiful that was just the first part we stayed there for a weekend and then we went and took all of our wedding stuff back home to oklahoma 
packed up all of our camping gear, fishing gear, bicycles, and we headed west because Jeremy had never seen the Grand Canyon. I'd seen it when I was a kid, but it had been a while. He hadn't really gone further west than Colorado. So we went to Arizona, and this is all a road trip. Saw the Grand Canyon, camped out by the Grand Canyon, and then took this crazy four-wheel drive trail in my non-four-wheel drive truck. And that was just for the purpose of getting out of the Grand Canyon along dirt roads, which turned out to be really hairy, but we did it. And uh, we both took turns driving because it was fun. I went up to Idaho. No, neither of us had either seen Idaho before. And went up to the mountains. It was really cold. It was really beautiful. Did some trout fishing. Went over to Wyoming to Yellowstone. First time going to Yellowstone. We didn't go and see everything. The only thing we really went to see was Old Faithful because we didn't have time for anything else. But I would say that if you are going through and you have time to stop, if you could just see one thing, Old Faithful would be the thing to see because that was that was breathtaking. I, I'm pretty sure that I my eyes started watering and tearing up because it was so beautiful. And I'm sorry if you hear my dog in the background, he's, he's having a bad dream. But we went down from Wyoming to Colorado. We camped out down there. We did some more trout fishing and I caught at least four or five trout on the trip and Jeremy didn't catch a trout. So he still has yet to catch one. In Oklahoma, you don't have much of a chance to catch one because they just stock ponds in the winter time. And if you want to catch one, it's going to typically be with like power bait, which is similar to something that they would feed the fish in the hatchery. So there's, there's really no sport in it. Anyway, that's getting off topic. So we came back down through Texas into Oklahoma and that was our honeymoon. Basically a month of car camping, hotels, bicycling, fishing, you name it. So it was a lot of fun. I'm back now. I'm going to be consistently producing videos. I don't know what cadence it's going to be yet, if it's going to be a monthly thing or, or how I'm going to make it, but I'm going to work on that with you guys and let you know once I get through these videos and editing them and getting them posted, then I'll be able to kind of figure out more so a cadence so that I can keep things consistent for all of you guys. Again, if you like the video, if you like these videos, subscribe, ring the bell, like, all of the above. If you don't like it, dislike it. You won't hurt my feelings. <laughs> Just be honest, be transparent with your feedback. If you want to hear something, let me know and I will try to fulfill your request.